Oh, good morning. This is Rocky Hall, and I'm going to do a little truth and traveling video. It's uh, about 6.30 in the morning, Burns, Oregon, and uh, I got the cheapest motel in town, which is the Sundowner, 40 bucks plus tax, and uh, I didn't sleep good last night because the room next to me had a bunch of kids and a teenager and some drama and trauma and they were loud and this is the indoor pool or outdoor pool there's the road dog he's already taken his taken his morning constitutional but I grabbed the camera because there was actually a deer right there eating he was right there so yeah, there's the, the pool, there's a bunch of little, oh, there's the deer, there's the deer. Yep, uh, cheap coffee, cheap room, road traffic, road noise, and people at midnight getting thrown out of the room next door to me. Oh, but this is, this is nice right here, you know, you get to come over here and let the dog pee and watch the deer eat but uh, the deer is obviously used to humans as you can tell and he's not afraid of the dog the dog hasn't even seen him yet yeah. cheap rooms cheap food and lack of sleep Last time I was in Burns, I got my car keyed, but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was really noisy last night. I just put my headphones on and listened to some thing on Netflix or something. I don't even know what it was, but it was dr drowning, barely drowning out the noise. Uh, and uh, this is obviously a main road with lots of traffic, but it was very loud last night. So you know, you hundred bucks for two nights and McDonald's food. I try to eat the best I can. I got, brought me some vegetables and ate them in the room, but uh, you know, you put 500 miles on the car and ugh. Posted some videos, and of course, you know, the trolls and haters come out, and I don't really care. But a uh, little truth and traveling video. It's not always fun. I was supposed to have a couple locals come and give me, talk to me about what's going on in Burns, and uh, they don't really want to talk. And actually, I talked them out of telling, having somebody come and talk to me because I didn't think it was appropriate at this time because that stuff should not, it just shouldn't. So I just, told them no we don't want to do that I don't care how many views clicks likes there's some stuff that just does not and I will not put out won't do it so I'm sure he didn't sleep good he he was right there but anyway a little truth in traveling it sucks uh, the room was clean. It was clean. I'm always afraid to sleep under the sheets. I always look at them real close. But I try to bring my own pillow as it's cleaner and all that stuff. So 
it is what it is I am going to leave today uh, hopefully I'm going to get another interview with a local but uh, he's been busy and couldn't couldn't make it so the dog doesn't want to go back in the room come on buddy anywho I walked around my car to see if it was vandalized first thing this morning and uh, no it looks fine it's just dirty the regular scratches and stuff but uh, okay back to the truth and traveling video my card was full as I had to buy a cheap one, a small one. Anyway, let's see, we are 20, we're leaving Burns, Oregon. We're heading that direction. 395 South. And hopefully I get to uh, talk to somebody else today before I leave Harney County. But uh, gas is a lot cheaper up here, 269 a gallon. It's 320 in Susanville, in California. So I, I gassed up. Uh, right now I have about uh, 360 miles on this trip one way and uh, $269 is actually pretty cheap for us. It looks like I'll be picking up my motorhome today and it looks like I have a traveling companion and so she will be going to the trials with me in Las Vegas. We're only able to stay for a couple days and so we're only going to be down there for a minute. But the truth in traveling is that it's long, it's lonely, and it's uh, very expensive. When you, this car is seven, uh, three, three years old and I have 73,250 miles on it right now. Uh, a lot of oil changes, a lot of maintenance, uh, a lot of tires, going through tires, and everything like that. I understand some people needing assistance with their traveling, but if you can't do it and you totally rely on other people to get you where you're going, then your intentions better be good. That's all I have to say about that. No, it's not all I have to say about that. If you are getting donations from other people, your intentions should be good unless those people know what your intentions are. If you're a total freaking dirtbag, scumbag, okay, I'll keep it clean. Then you need to let the people giving you money know that, that you're a dirtbag and what your intentions are. Uh, you guys know who I'm talking about and if you don't know who I'm talking about you probably have somebody in mind when I'm saying this that if you can't afford to do this then don't. If your intention is to live off of other people while you're traveling then you need to let them know that. Uh, I'm going to talk to somebody directly here, and that's going to be John Lamb. I had a lot of respect for John Lamb. I thought that his intentions were good and they were and they were true. But when I was down in Pahrump at the Camp Liberty, uh, I learned a lot there. And I don't. I believe that that God, the universe, uh, puts you where you need to be at that time. I got a lot of calls saying, oh Rocky, I'm so sorry. You guys didn't need to know that I was over it before I even got to my car. You really need to know that. I, uh, the things that I've been through in my life, that ain't nothing. That ain't shit. And John Lamb straight lied about me and about things that happened there. So, John Lamb, I would not piss on you if you were on fire. I think that you're a liar. I think that you are using this situation for whatever it is that you are doing. Um, 
I have learned a lot from uh, if your wife is on welfare with your uh, 10 kids or whatever it is that you have living in a in a situation that is not appropriate and she's living on welfare and taking government assistance while you're out here traveling on the road and you don't have a job and supporting your family I think you're a fucking dirtbag uh, bottom line you know I mean if you guys watch my videos you know I don't really pull punches I, I, I don't have the time I don't have the patience and so she's taking government assistance on how many ever kids that she still has legally living under her roof and our taxpayer money is paying for that while you're out here traveling on the road uh, now I have seen how you you do it and you do it cheap and everything else but you're living off of others and you're taking advantage of this situation and you lied about me personally and the lies that you told you're busted flat dude I mean people have seen it first hand and these people out there that believe in you and everything else uh, and are giving these people a hard time that stood up and said yeah dude you're lying you're lying believe what you want to believe this is still America and if you want to believe in John then believe in John I don't care but if somebody else doesn't believe then leave them alone I don't care either you know to each their own you want to give him money give him money you think he does a good job so be it he's not telling the truth he's lied and I've got no time for him like I said I would not piss on him if he was on fire I think you guys you know people have contacted me and wanted to know so there it is and I I'm not gonna go into details about all the lies because it's just he said she said and I just don't give a shit I really don't just uh, I don't want anything from you John I don't ask much of people and just you know do what you do dude uh, you're obviously a hustler and that dumb farm boy thing that you pull use it on somebody else I, I just don't care and every time you turn around there's a GoFundMe for you it, it's uh it's pretty sad pretty pathetic why don't you, you just need to go home and take care of your family like with a couple of, of you other people you know uh, family's first family is first my family's taken care of blah 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 anyway my car looks like I live in it so I'm not gonna show it because it's just absolutely filthy got my road dog oh hell why not uh, I got my camera down there. I've got uh, this other stuff. Got the dog. That's the new road dog. And the nice thing about traveling is that you do meet some awesome people, like the guy that was in the room next to me. He uh, is traveling on his bike and going through all different states and stuff like that. So we had a good little conversation about how loud it was last night. And the America is absolutely beautiful it is truly beautiful out here and you get to see all that and if you put yourself out there a little bit you'll meet some nice people I'm not gonna make this very long so that's it a little truth in traveling and I hope that our guys in Vegas really need your prayers because things are not good down there so if you can just ask whoever it is that you believe in to protect them, guide them, help them, things are getting, getting a little ugly. 
and uh, we sure could use that. Hope uh, to see some of you guys there and take care. Okay, I've got my Betty Boops on. Woo woo! And I'm cheap, so I brought my own food, chicken, and it's been plenty cold. Trust me, it's plenty cold. And I have no silverware, so I heated it up in my coffee cup, and I have a plastic spoon. Little tiny microwave. Brought my own juice, and we're set. Dinner, something to drink, television, watching Family Feud. <sighs> life, is, life is good. Got my clothes out for tomorrow. I'll sleep in this bed. The dog probably will sleep with me. Yes, I'm sure he will. Say hello, Jack. Say hello, buddy. Come on. Say hello. Say hello. He won't say hello.